Hey guys, I have a couple of uh, Jason Schema tips for you. So, what is Jason Schema? Jason Schema is a JSON formatted way of describing your JSON. <laughs> it's basically a format for describing your data structure. And this is important. This is important for your documentation. This is important for validating your data. And I always love to see, besides make files, a JSON schema in a project. Uh, j just for history's sake, um, XML had like DTDs and things like that. It was kind of similar. Uh, I th in fact, I think that the XML one was a little bit more powerful. Um, there are some bad things about JSON schema, but let's just focus on these three tips I want to share with you. First off, creating a schema can be a bit pa painful. So let's, but what you can do is, uh, let's go, I, let's create a JSON file. Um, and uh, let's say that you need to collect the uh, the name of somebody. Oh gosh, I hate writing JSON by hand. And let's say you need to create uh, also collect the um, the age of somebody. So creating JSON um, schema is a bit of a pain, but there's this cool command called JGen. And you can automatically generate it. So you can see here that the name is a string and the age is a number. Woohoo! Um, that's this project. I'll link it below. So now let's save the schema somewhere. Let's name. Let's let's save it uh, to schema.json. Uh, let's pretend we've done that, because another thing with um with this uh, schema is that you can add little, um, you can add uh, this sort of required um, key to say that you require to see name. So for this data structure, um, age is optional. So JGen, first tip, getting you started with the schema. Next cool tip is I feel with Visual Studio Code, which I sometimes use, I am a I am a, a Vim man, but check this out. Control Shift I prettifies JSON, but you can in settings, and I've just done that before. You can uh, say this particular JSON file name age .json, has this particular schema, which I generated before. So if I'm editing something and I go like um, you know. A string is for the age. It will then you if it will basically say it's the incorrect type. So it it Visual Studio Code is like out of the box working with JSON schema. Awesome. That's the my second tip. Um, my last tip is hmm. Let me see. Uh, oh yeah, if you have a look here, I'll I'll link this stuff at the bottom. My last tip is if you take the schema. There's a whole bunch of tools that use the schema. I'm just trying to show you th um, three of three cool ones. I thought this a very interesting project called React JSON Schema Form. And you can basically go in here and let's just go for the simple one. You can you can paste in your JSON schema to this sort of React component, and it generates a form on the fly. So if you had to collect name and age, you can. You can just use this project, and it just generates forms for you. You can. You, there's also you can also like tweak how the widgets work and things like that, how they look, um, and such and so forth. So here it's warning that this requires a name. So if I put a name in there, everything's cool, and it also validates and everything. So um, to summarize, I've given you, I've told you about JSON schema, I've told you how to generate it. I'm told you how to maybe work with it with Visual Studio so that um, you can you can um, you can start editing JSON by hand and have the schema validation. And the third thing, React JSON schema form. You can generate forms using that JSON schema. So please like uh, and um, comment and subscribe if you um, if you like what I had to say about JSON schema. Cheers, guys. Bye now.